Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. In this video, you will see a demo of Informatica Cloud support for Microsoft Dynamics CRM, which is being added as part of Informatica Cloud's Winter 2012 release. Informatica Cloud can be used to deal with the typical integration scenarios related to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, including customer and product master synchronization, and order history and opportunity to order processing. For this demo, we'll perform some customer master synchronization, where I will move some account data that I have in a local SQL Server database, and I'll move that into Microsoft Dynamics CRM online. So we start the demo here in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and we go to the accounts. Here we see we don't have any account records, uh, in my dynamic CRM. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Informatica Cloud to move some records from my local SQL Server database into my Dynamics account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to Informatica Cloud. Now to get started, we'll actually start off in the Configuration tab and we'll create a new connection to connect to my Microsoft Dynamics CRM account. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a name and choose the type. Now with Informatica Cloud we can connect to a whole host of different types of applications and databases. But here we'll go ahead and choose Microsoft Dynamics CRM and I'm actually connecting to a Microsoft Live version of that and I just give my credentials and um, we'll go ahead and do a test on this account. All right. Okay, hit test. And we see that everything's working just fine. So go ahead and hit OK. And then we go to Data Services. All right, so I start off here in the Data Synchronization area for Informatica Cloud. And if I hit New, what we see is Informatica Cloud's basic integration capabilities. Very simple six-step wizard where you define your source, your target, filter your data, map and transform the data, and then schedule your data load. So we start off here in step one. I'm just going to give this a name. So this will be my demo MSD account load. And I'm going to perform an insert. And step two, this is where I go ahead and choose my local SQL Server database connection. And here you see all the different tables and views in my local database. And I'm going to grab data from this account dim object and I'll load this into Microsoft Dynamics. So moving on to step three, this is where I choose Dynamics as my target. So I choose the Microsoft Dynamics connection that I just created. And we choose the account object. And here the data preview shows no records in the account object as expected. So let's move on to step four. This is actually an optional step. This allows me to filter the data that's coming across. So if I only wanted to, let's say, move over records that were created this year or created for a certain state, I could put in that kind of filter. Now step five, this is the field mapping screen. This is actually how you define your integration. So you see on the left is the object that I, defi that I chose in step two. The right is the account object that I chose in step three. And now I can actually define how the data is going to move back and forth. So let's go ahead and move over some of these address fields. So I've got address line one. Address two goes to address line two. I've got city, country, postal code, and we've got the billing state. Now for, let's say, the name field needs to be populated from the account name field and from my database. Go ahead and drag that and drop that over. And we've got the phone number field that'll go into telephone one. All right, so for ba very basic data movement, very simple and easy to use. Now, Informatica Cloud can also be used to do some very complex transformations. So for instance, we go ahead and go back to step two, we take a look and we see that there's a field called account type in my database. The values are one, two, or three, where one represents a customer type, two is prospect, and three is other. 
So to have that kind of transformation logic applied, and let's say I wanted to move those values, the actual English language values, into let's say the description field. So for that I go ahead and click on the expression button here. And what comes up is the Informatica Cloud Expression Editor. We've got all of our fields up here on the top left and the 120 or so functions available to us with Informatica Cloud. So a lot of very powerful functions here. If you're familiar with a lot of the Excel functions, you'll see some stuff that's very similar to that. But I'm going to choose the decode transformation and I'm going to go ahead and select the account type field. Again, as I mentioned, if account type is equal to 1, return back customer. If it's 2, return back with prospect. And then if it's 3, you can, or you can actually just say a default, otherwise it's just other. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to step 6, which is our scheduling screen. This allows me to schedule these tasks to run on an ongoing basis. So to do that, I can go ahead and just hit the radio button here and just choose any schedules that I've already created, or I can hit new and create my own schedules on the fly. Run every five minutes, specify the day that I want to run that, hourly, daily, weekly, choose the day of the week that you want to run, monthly, choose let's say the first Sunday of the month, so lots of capabilities here from a scheduling standpoint. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save the task. And let's go ahead and run it. Once you kick off a task, the activity monitor screen pops up and it'll show you the active status of any running tasks that are currently being kicked off. So here we see our task is currently running. And being that this is a cloud offering, you can log in from any browser in the world and see the status of all existing and all running jobs. And once a task is completed, it pops over here to the activity log, and here's where you see a history of all jobs that have run successfully or failed. Here we see our job did run successfully, the nine rows are there. And we'll also email based off success and failure based off of your Informatica Cloud account. All right, so let's go ahead and verify that everything works. Let's go back into Microsoft Dynamics, and let's do a refresh on the accounts. And we see the nine records have been moved over. And if we drill in, we'll see all of the data is where it's supposed to be. And if we take a look at that description field, you'll also see that we've translated the value of two for this record to prospect successfully. Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. For more information, go to informaticacloud.com. Thank you.